Hey everyone. All right, so today, as promised, we're gonna be modeling natural selection and we're gonna do this by kind of going off of what was talked about yesterday that you read with the finches or the different types of birds. Um, so today, before I get into anything else, I want you to make sure that you have the materials and the setup, okay? So what you're gonna need that I think everyone will be able to have are fork, knife, spoon, and tweezers. If you don't have tweezers, then you can find something similar. And then you are going to make one plate. I'll show you. Okay. One plate that has like a handful of, of like four different things. So I used a handful of cereal, raisins, or like a berry, um, lentils, or like some type of bean, and rice. If you don't have those things, then you can grab something similar. And then for everyone who's doing this, a plastic bag, and then you'll also need a timer of some sort, okay? So let me go over what these things represent, <laughs> all right? Um, the utensils, like the fork, knife, spoon, tweezers, these are going to represent your bird beaks. Yes, these are going to represent your beaks. And then this lovely plastic bag that each participant will have represents your stomach, okay? So as we're gonna go through, you can only use the utensil, no cheating with your other hand, okay? And the goal basically is to see in 30 seconds with your utensil and with this one utensil, because this is your beak, right? Like birds don't like use their claws to get anything. You're gonna see how much food you can collect in your stomach, okay? Before we get started, I just want you to double check that you have um, the document up that looks like this. If you don't know how to get there, then read the, or not read, but watch the video that was posted on the stream today. And before we go into further directions, I want you to answer the two pre-model questions. So look at the data table and you're going to answer what are the variations within the bird species. You should be able to tell me that based on my description and also looking at the data table and then look at your plate once you've prepared it and are all types of food equally available? How do you know? And then just explain. Okay, so take a minute to do that and then we'll get to the rest. All right, hey everyone. So to help us model, we're gonna have my fiance Yusuf help us. You can say hi. Hello, hi everyone. All right, so at this point, you should have everything set up and it should look like this. Um, because it's just me and Yusuf, we're going to do two rounds. So for the first round, my beak is going to be a fork. And mine's going to be this. AKA the tweezers. <laughs> AKA the tweezers. <laughs> okay. So make sure you have your phone set to 30 seconds. I'm going to angle it toward the plate so that you can see what's going on. Okay, Yusuf, are you ready? I am. Make sure your plastic bag is ready and open. You should be doing this with people too. Okay, ready, set, go. I'm beating you. Is it a competition? Yes, it's a competition to survive. This thing is different. I'm gonna have more food than you. Same guy. Like Haha. <laughs> But at least I'm gonna have different variety. You only gonna have one. Excuse me, I'm getting a lot of different things. Okay, that's time. Stop, stop, you can't cheat with the food. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so now that we have our, I think you should put something back. Anyway, um, now that we have, we're gonna take our bag out and we're gonna count um, how many of each type of food that we got. So remember that the place that you're gonna record is the data table. Sorry, it's a little hard to see. So I'm gonna write for fork how many of the different things that I got, and then Yusuf's gonna write under the tweezers. So just take a minute, I'm gonna count, Yusuf's gonna count, and you should count, okay? So we have just counted, and I'll show you. This is what, this is what Yusuf collected. And then this is, I don't know if you can see this. This is what, ah, <laughs> can you see it? This is yeah. what I collected. Um, so overall, 
before we go to the next round. Um, so with my fork, my fork beak, I collected 27 raisins, 21 granola pieces, 56 lentils, and 49 pieces of rice. And then Yusuf, how many did you collect? Five granola. That's, those are raisins. I mean, five <laughs> raisins. And how many granola? You had eight. Eight granola, two pieces of rice, and two lentils. Awesome. So if you use different materials, obviously change them in the data table and then put your own. If you weren't able to do the experiment, then make sure that you record that data. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to put all of this back. We're going to do it again another 30 seconds with the other utensils. Okay. So let's put everything back. You can just put everything back. All right. So all of our food has been put back. Our it is totally filled. Um, remember, if you were doing this with four people, then you could have done this once and then have been done because there's two of us were doing it twice. And then this time, what do you have? I have a spoon. And then I have a knife, so we'll see how this goes. All right, so I'm going to set my timer for 30 seconds. And then let's get ready. All right, ready? Go. I have nothing. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> I want to try. <laughs> I think I'll have like 200 of it. <laughs> Be quiet. You know, I'm, I'm making do with my beak. So don't trash my beak. You're taking my food. Okay, that's time. Ah. All right, so again, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna do is, you don't have to show off. That's not nice. Okay, so we're gonna uh, count what we got for each and record it in the data table. All right, so just take a minute to do that. All right, so we have counted from that round. I, as a knife with my beak, shaped like a knife, um, I had 10 raisins, three pieces of granola, eight lentil beans, and nine pieces of rice. I double all of your numbers. <laughs> More. At least 260 rice, 116 lentils, 36 cereal granola, and 37 raisins. So make sure that you record those numbers <laughs> um, if you didn't do the experiment yourself, um, which I highly recommend that you do. Um, of course, record your own numbers if you use different things. And then just a reminder that this was modeling natural selection. So think about your pre-reading from yesterday. Um, think about our setup, the plate being like an environment, all the different food pieces was the food that these birds had access to. And of course we had our four different birds, The different that had different beaks with the knife, spoon, tweezer, and fork shape. So what you're gonna do now, keeping all of that in mind, is below your data table, there's 10 questions that you're gonna answer. Um, so make sure that you do that and then press turn in on Google Classroom when you finish. You can say bye. Bye guys. <laughs> Good luck with the uh, lab. <laughs>